Hey there. Uh, today we're going to be looking at some routing ideas for a Randovania seed for AM2R. Uh, this is just going to be a walkthrough on the map. I've generated a seed and put it onto the game map. So we're not actually going to be playing the game. We're going to be just taking a look at what kind of goes through my head as uh, someone who races this game uh, so that you can hopefully use some of the ideas uh, for your own uh, gameplay. Uh, I have spent a lot of time looking at the logic database, so I'm quite familiar with what kind of progression leads into what, and so I'll try to use those hints to dictate where I'm going next. And so this is going to be just a demonstration to hopefully improve your own gameplay. Uh, this is going to be based on our kind of beginner weekly presets, uh, which is mostly beginner logic. That being said, we might do some advanced stuff. Uh, that's kind of my skill level, uh, and you're not penalized for going outside of logic unless you're, you go on a wild goose chase. Uh, but it can be good to skip certain steps. Uh, we've got 10 DNA. We're going to be starting in the main cave save here. And we'll have, uh, you can see on the left there of the video, there's a tracker where we'll be keeping track of the items all along the way. So uh, you kind of have a representation of what we're looking at. So with that being said, uh, we're going to start here. Now, there's no reason to go up to landing site, but we are going to immediately go check the surface alpha. I'm gonna take this shortcut. And sorry, this map's on the 1.1 version, but it's what I got to work with. So we're gonna do the surface alpha. And uh, I've put all the major progression on this map, so you'll be able to see it if we end up getting there. I, I don't have this seed memorized, so this is going to be kind of uh, going as, as I would if I was actually playing through this. Uh, so we didn't get anything here, at least not a major progression. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a warp back to start. And just that'll quickly get us back to our starting location. So from there, we're going to head down. And remember, this lava won't be here in Randovania. These blocks also won't be here in our preset, so we won't need bombs for those. And we're going to head into Golden Temple. First thing we're going to do is wrap down, check bombs. There's nothing in there. So we're going to make our way back up. And we're going to climb up and over. And we're going to go down into Golden Temple. We're not going to take a peek at the spider chamber yet. Uh, we're going to hop up. We're going to find space jump and gravity suit here. Or not, sorry, not gravity suit and not space jump. Uh, in this preset, we're using progressive uh, jump and progressive suits. So this will be our high jump and various suit, respectively. So just find those very quickly on our tracker. trouble with the various suit. Here we are. Okay, so you see those pop up. So that's a good bound of damage reduction and gonna help with our movement a lot as well. So from here, we're gonna drop down and take a peek in Armory. Armory happens to have our second progressive suit. So that's gravity already, which uh, might lead you towards uh, A5 and distribution center for all the water checks, but uh, it's also good to note that this is a lot of damage reduction and might point us towards some uh, some health requirements. Uh, we're gonna poke our head into here. So this is why I didn't go to spider chamber is because when we poke our head into here, we can see this item and see that it's not a major. So we're probably gonna ignore this unless it's like an E-tank or supers. Uh, we have required mains on by the way, so we will need to um, find our super and power bomb launcher before we can use those. Uh, but likely if this is a missile or something, we're not going to grab it. I'm going to head back 
and we're gonna check out charge beam chamber there's nothing there uh, so with that we're gonna head back out and around you might be able to spot a few items that we'll have to come back for later pretend like we haven't seen those so we're leaving Golden Temple you might actually be better off taking the save yeah that's a good thought if we head back and we take the save here <clears throat> and warp to start since we don't have anything uh, we'll end up back at our surface cave we'll come back down and we don't Remember, these bomb blocks won't be here on these settings. Uh, these are the uh, ooh, can not, Mumbo Manor blocks. Anyways, they're, they're not going to be here on this preset. So we're going to hop down. Going down and around. We're going to enter A2. And we've got missiles to start and a lot of damage reduction. So you're going to need a little bit of health to start fighting the alphas. And uh, that suit... Those suits might be a good indication to start doing that if we haven't already picked up some E tanks. Uh, so with that, we will get our power bomb launcher. That is that symbol right there. So that's going to light up in just a second. So we've got power bombs. Let's just put. I'm not going to keep proper count, but we. Uh... As long as you see that lit up, just remember that we've got we've got power bombs. It will be uh, good to note that we do have to watch our ammo though. Uh, but in Ranovania, there will be drops. So, so from here we've got high jump. So my theory with A2 is we've since we've got power bombs, we could end up going for Arachnus early if we find another. Uh, as long as we have three power bombs, uh, I guess we would need four to actually get through all of this. So once we get a second um, pickup, then we might head for Arachnus, but we don't know that yet. So what I would probably do is come up here, use high jump to grab, check this item. It's nothing. Hop up top, and then we're going to do, uh, we're going to run, jump off, and do some midder morphs to uh, extend our jump and check what this is. We didn't find anything. So we're gonna end up back down here and just going to run through, grab the save and begin checking out uh, A2 a little bit. Uh, now, one thing to note is we got high jump uh, early, which is a good pointer towards breeding grounds two because of this uh gap over here uh but since we do have power bombs we do have access to most of these other checks so i might actually take it and wrap around here clear out this alpha drop down uh you can peek this item on the way it's nothing uh hop over here remember we got a kind of manage our ammo off the enemies here but this is all doable and by this point we might even have another set of power bombs but now we found ice beam so this is great because we do not have the ice beam hint yet and this will just save us save us some hunting at the end of the game because this will be required from there we're going to hop out and we have our bombs so we're going to drop down and so what I like to do at this intersection is come around this way first. You can pick up uh, these two items if you need to, if they're supers or um, power bombs or E-tanks. Uh, if they're missiles, once you get to about 50 missiles, I tend to stop picking up missiles because alphas are going to drop them like the rest of the Metroids and stuff. So you'll, you'll be picking up a few more on the way. And each missile you pick up, actually extends the queen fight by a little bit so you're actually making it a little harder on yourself by picking up extra missiles so i would recommend picking up enough to maybe i don't know just be comfortable to miss a few but um, you're going to be getting more on the way by just killing metroids and getting them by accident so uh it's okay to skip a few uh what was i gonna say missiles Anyways, we'll get back to it. I'll, I'll remember eventually. 
Uh, so we're going to drop down here. Uh, check this item. And so if you come over here, you can actually peek these two guys. And we're going to see that there are no majors. But if there are like more supers, we might dip in. So now, but if it's just two missiles, what we can do is come back over here. Grab this. It's our spider ball. Not bad, but not extremely helpful. And if those are just missiles, we're not going to take this path. Just cut off a few seconds, head back, and we're going to be coming back up and out. And then we're going to take another save because saving is really quick. And there's not a huge penalty for it. So uh, it's also good in case we don't find anything and we need to um, warp back to our last save. So at this point, I would probably head into here. Uh, we can peek this item. We can wrap around. Uh, we don't have our uh, screw attack, so we can't do this yet. But over here, way over here in labs, uh, this is where the ice beam hint, hint is. So this is tr uh, saving us a long trip over that way. So we're going to come over here, peek this item, see it's nothing. Kill this Metroid. Nothing again. Going to hop up. We already know that this is nothing. And managing our power bombs again. Check this. And it's nothing. So at this point, we can actually take the uh, reset at last save. And bring ourselves right back here. Which is where we'll want to be to head towards Breeding Grounds 2. So we're going to drop down. And this is where the space jump comes in, or not space jump, high jump. Uh, it's a very good indicator. Uh, this is a very early uh, requirement for high jump. One moment. And so we'll take the save here. Now, hopefully at this point, you've got you get a few missiles on you. So it uh, feels pretty good and maybe some E-tanks. And so we're going to drop down and grab this Metroid first. And we are rewarded with the speed booster. This is a very loaded early seed. You won't always see all these progressive items so early, but um, they're progression items. But that's great. Speed booster will speed us up as we travel around the map and give us a few more options. Uh, we've got power bombs, so you can lay one here and reveal what this item is. And after that, we get to our first Wisdom Septog. So these are your hints for the DNA, which are the keys to unlock labs. There'll be blocks unless you collect all the DNA. This preset has 10, so we'll be looking for 10 DNA. So this will give us a certain number, or maybe it's a joke hint. Uh, I don't have the hints on me, so we're just going to pretend like it gave us some decent hints. So from here, based on my health, or my missile counts. Uh, you got two options with routing. I, if you're low on health or missiles, I'd probably head up to the top and take out the alpha. If you're pretty healthy, which let's pretend we are, we're gonna head down, clean up this alpha, come back, and that'll spawn this gamma, kill that. And now we'll head into the west alpha nest come up here and that's going to get us our regular bombs doing quite well uh, so from here uh, you can charge a spark across here spark up come across free item here if this is an e-tank or supers you've got power bombs so you can grab that and we're going to make our way back and take this save so with bombs speed booster uh we've got plenty of missiles and things now uh this might be a good chance to head back to uh a1 uh golden temple as well as get um breeding grounds one out of the way so again we're going to warp to start which will bring us back up to here Gonna run all the way over. Uh, we will have to kill um, Guardian here because we entered Golden Temple and we warped back, so we didn't 
kill him before, but now we've got bombs, high jump, uh, spider ball, a few other things. We can check these two items, they're nothing, that's fine. Now at this point, uh, there's two options, either route uh, the last few golden temple checks or go to breeding grounds. I'd probably choose breeding grounds here unless I'm really low on ammo, uh, which case the other items might help more. So we're going to head through, clear out this guy, it's nothing. Uh, jump down here, this is Wisdom Septog number two, so going to grab some more hints. Going to grab over here, it's nothing. Finish up with this guy, and we get Screw Attack. Now this is going to open up the game a lot, and gives us a lot of routing options. Uh, as well as making traversal just a little bit easier being able to deal with those lesser enemies. Uh, so we're definitely going to keep that and get out of here. Might take the save again. Uh, and then we're going to head into Golden Temple. Now what we missed is uh, this item in here, the item up top, and uh, the last Metroid. So I'd probably continue over top, charge speed booster, shoot ourselves up. It gets us charge beam. Charge beam plus bombs means that queen's probably going to be an easier fight. Uh, then I would charge, uh, get my spark over here with speed booster. And this is going to be our very first DNA. Now ignore the count. I know it says 1 of 46, but we're just going to 10. Uh, so from there, we can drop down, hop over here. We've got bombs. We can shoot this and we see that that's nothing. So we're just going to loop around and hit this save station up yet again. Actually, hold on. We got screw attack. That's right. So at this point, at this point, we are going to actually hop down and head into the pipes. That'll bring us into A5 from here. And at this point, I'm assuming We've got two suits, which is a lot of damage direction. That's 75%. Probably picked up some E-Tanks, have a good amount of missiles. What I'm starting to think of now is Alpha Squad, which means that's five checks for free, pretty much, uh, if you've got decent equipment. So we're going to head down through here. Take the save just in case. And we get yet another hint. So this is another good reason to do Alpha Squad early. So that's three of our hints out of uh, six, I believe. So um, we're getting there. So we're going to head into Alpha Squad. And I just camp in the corner and shoot them all with missiles. And that'll actually get us supers and another DNA. So the DNA is good to have, but the super missiles, that is amazing. I should check off uh, that we've got <laughs> missile launcher. I forgot. Okay, so we've got supers now. So that makes fighting the rest of the Metroids a lot easier. It should also be noted that um, anything above Gammas, so your Zetas and Omegas, on anything less than Intermediate, I believe you need Supers to fight them. So uh, you don't have to worry about finding your Super Launcher on like an Omega in the bubble air. So from here... I'm going to take the save, and I think we go for more hints at this point. We've got, like, a pretty good loadout at this point. Ice, charge, and bombs will help with uh, Queen uh, and two suits. I mean, like, we're pretty loaded, so this is about the time where I start rushing hints. So what we're going to do is backtrack back to this pipe. We're going to go to A3 now. So from A3, uh, since we're here, I'm going to stop over in the Spacer Beam room and find <laughs> Wave Beam of, of all things. Not entirely helpful, uh, just given what it actually does, but still we'll pick it up. Uh, we'll do the speed booster through here, and we're going to hop up. Uh, it might be realistic that... We've got um, the hint for this DNA. So we're actually going to pick that up now. 
which that is 30% of our DNA. And then from there, we will climb up, take the save, hop up. Uh, so it should be noted with beginner tricks, a lot of the advanced Shine Spark tricks you might find in vanilla probably aren't required. So from there, we can kind of say that this is never going to be required, so we'll never have to go up there. Um, if I'm thinking of just clearing this out, I might head down, peek this item, skip it, go over here, kill this last uh, gamma, see it's nothing. We can take the save back and make our way over. We're going to drop down, and if you just head into Tester's Arena and shoot the orb, you can check what the item is without actually starting the fight. Uh, there's nothing in here, so we are going to back out, climb up and over. Uh, we will be peeking this item. It's nothing. And we are going to head, uh, going to do a short charge here and hopefully get some good movement across. So from here, nothing. Take the save, refill on ammo. We have supers, so we can take the easy shortcut down here. Clean this guy up, head down. Clean this guy up, that is our spring ball. Head, oh, whoops, sorry. Head down from here. Clean up this alpha and this gamma. That's another DNA for us. And that will bring us back to this connection. We're gonna head down, clean up this guy, right up through here, and there is another Wisdom Septog. <clears throat> uh, we can also peek this item, it's nothing. So we're getting a lot of hints, this is great. Uh, the only thing that's rough about this one being so deep in Breeding Grounds 3 is, in case this is not hinted, we kind of just got to go for this one. And ideally it's something we need, but if it's not, then at least you don't have to come back here later. Like, it's it's worth the risk. Uh, you can take this shortcut up. And from there, we are, since we didn't save recently and we found this DNA, we're going to have to walk all the way back. Go back up here and stop. Okay, so from here, there's a couple of options. There's a research site uh, hint, which we might do now. Uh, the thing is, without knowing the hints, it's hard to route the specific DNAs. I know because when I generated this before, I know we've got to go in a mine, so. Um, this might be a, the, the problem is I, it's going to be rough. Um, I would probably say I bet on the hint first. Let's say we didn't have the hint. So we're going to head through, go to research site, pick up another wisdom septog. So that's another hint for us. Uh, we're going to peek this item and kill the two alphas here. Uh, they're quick, we've got supers, so it's not a big pain. We got the hint, and at this point I'm assuming we've got the, um, we've got the mines hint, so we're going to uh, go with that assumption and head back down into mines. Long way down. We've got speed though, so we can keep our speed through a lot of this section, speeding it up. Wow, speed reader steer speeds you up. Who'd have guessed? Uh, these mines already skipped. You just shoot this last cordite crystal. We're gonna actually we're not gonna take the save because we know that uh, we've got to go kill some metroids. So from here, uh, I like to go to the right one first, and that's where our hinted DNA is. Uh, so you can charge a spark here, go across, keep it, hop down. Kill the Metroid. Get our fifth piece of DNA. Uh, so there'll be a wisdom, or not a wisdom, a regular Septog here that will carry you up in our settings. Uh, you can charge a spark here and go back. 
The reason I like going this way first is because it's easier to charge a spark here and shoot across. And we're going to check this item because we're here anyways, and it's Spazer. So that means our queen fight might be a little easier. If we end up finding plasma, we can farm. So Spazer Beam. Okay, excellent. And so now we're going to head back out. And now we actually take the save. Now, I don't like going all the way back up. So we're actually going to take a save warp back to the top. Yeah, go through all this again. So, we start back here. We're going to run, head down, and we've been neglecting these checks for a while now, but with all the items we have, we can clear this. So, we go find plasma. That's very convenient. So, yeah, Queen's going to be a joke now at this point. We are fully decked out, just missing space jump. Um... We can use infinite bombs or even like the vanilla method. Uh, check this, it's nothing. From here, we are going to head likely into A2. Yeah, we're going to head into A2. And we're going to take the pipe. Yeah, pipe will be good because that will bring us down here. We get a free item check and we get uh, another check here going to spark up all this way those with a keen eye can see uh, we probably not gonna get this but um, I'm gonna bonk up here uh, at this point I imagine we probably have this hint uh, gonna probably tank some damage but kill this metroid get ourselves a sixth piece of dna head back out hop over uh you can check this uh visually use a bomb drop down you should be able to check this visually real quick run and jump over uh get our one of our last hints the last hint is actually an A6, and we probably won't be getting it for some time. Uh, so, uh, from here, we can spider our way up, check this, drop down. Uh, we're going to hop in here. Uh, we got power bombs, so we can do a visual inspection. There's not much we're missing, so the fact that it is space jump is kind of a pain. We do have plasma, and we do have the means to quickly... So we do have the means to quickly kill Tester, but honestly, I think the time loss is probably not worth it. Uh, we're going to drop down. And we're going to take the save. From the save, we're going to... We actually know... Yeah, we have all of our majors, so there's not really any point... Unless you're feeling like really weak on E-Tanks or something... Uh, you can peek this item. Uh, the power plant will already be destroyed um, in the Randovania implementation. So uh, you'll find three items down here. And like unless you're looking for E-Tanks or Supers, I wouldn't bother with this at this point. We've got most of our hints. And knowing a few of the last remaining locations, uh, we're going to head... Uh, back to distribution center. Uh, we're currently sitting at six. Yeah, so uh, we're coming out of here. I'm going to drop all the way down and take out this data, which, assuming it's hinted, that's great. That's our seventh. We can then take this pipe over, work our way up into this pipe. Whoops. That pipe will bring us here. We can clear this. I, again, there's no reason to really check this. Just a time waste. Uh, we're going to drop down. Head over. We've got so much equipment. This will be a breeze. And head into dual gammas, which we see is another DNA. 
So we're most of the way there. Now I believe the last two. Yeah. Okay. So even if the last two aren't hinted at this point, now we're going to make our way to a save. I'd probably go for the last hint uh, because there's still a lot of Metroids out there. We haven't actually cleaned out that many. Like all of A4 is still open. Um, the this this guy at the worst at the bottom of uh, industrial uh, complex, yeah, uh, is bad. So getting the hint could be really strong. Uh, we've got the save here. Uh, that being said, we're probably not going to save warp. We'll probably head back out over up. Uh, we will take the A4 pipe. From the A4 pipe, we'll head to A2. From A2, we are going to head up. Sorry that the lines are crossing so much. Oh, sorry. From this pipe, we're going to head across and enter labs. We don't need our hint, so we're going to take our save here. And so the blocks, uh, block you off right here when you don't have all the DNA so that's as far as we'll be able to go that's why we're searching for these 10 DNA or keys to get in uh, so we're gonna drop down head down the waterfall and you might be wondering what this what's this big blue line uh, the blue line is um, new pipes added in the randomania implementation to speed you up uh, just get through the end game process quicker. There's one from Crystal Waterfall to uh, the nest, uh, and then the nest to hideout. So from here, uh, we've got two options. If it's hinted, we got this DNA. We can hop up here, grab that real quick. If it's not hinted, we head down, and this is our last hint right here. So. It's it. It's it. We either know it or we're soon to know it. But uh, let's pretend we're on this path still. We grab the hint, and the last hint points us down towards hideout. So we're going to go down here, loop around, and go through this pipe. From here, I'm going to hop up. We're going to kill this alpha anyways because uh, even though the block has dropped, it's just it's quick. Might just be more supers or health. We'll take it. Uh, from here, we've got another Omega fight. The Omega will give us a DNA. Oh, I forgot the uh, the other one in the top of Bubble Air. So we're at full DNA at this point. Um, I would probably check this just in case. It's really quick. Uh, but then we're going to make our way all the way back up through this pipe. Uh, this time we're going to run over here, charge a spark. And that will allow us to quickly get up here. Now the only annoying part about this section now is we don't have space jump. So this is where the time save of maybe wasting some time on killing Tester to get that space jump would come in handy. And this would also depend on like your comfortability as well um, with maneuvering, but you could have done Tester at that point. Um, I chose not to. And now I'm paying the consequences because I have to climb this room just with high jump, which isn't that bad. At least I have high jump. And we're gonna head back over and take this pipe. Can't go back up the waterfall, so we will have to maze our way around. You can charge a spark here and head across, uh, store the spark again, and then shoot straight up, and that'll get you most of the way instead of spider balling all the way up. And then we are at the last save. We go up around, we don't need our ice beam hint. Do, do, do kill all the Metroids. Wonderful, we'll be taking some spike damage here. We got Queen, kill the Queen. Head our way up. Up and over, and time. So that is how I would route that seed, and that's gonna be pretty similar. Um, the whole gist to me is the first two areas, Golden Temple and Hydro Station, they're going to be loaded with items. 
especially if you get bombs early, uh, Hydro Station's a good one. Um, it's not until you start getting supers that I like to start checking the gammas. And you'll notice, for instance, like, I didn't even bother peeking my way into A4, like, until much later. Um, I find a lot of people waste a lot of time on these Zetas. Don't do that. Um, I, I have been bitten a few times by people getting rewarded by, like, supers on, you know, like, this gamma here or something. But, um, in general, I hardly ever fight these Zetas unless they're DNA. Uh, you also notice we didn't spend a whole lot of time in distribution center, especially not like this part or down here. Even though we had gravity, um, gravity will only get us this far. Uh, after that, this shine spark is technically not in logic because of the settings we're using. So I just ignore this whole section. That's through. Was that two two checks? Yep. Um, Saris is almost never anything um yeah it's just really slow down here the items are spread out and i mean we got we were loaded on stuff so that we didn't really have to look around for anything we didn't touch gravity corridor the early gravity could point you in this direction but um the way we found supers and started to clean up early means that we'd never touch this uh since we found supers we didn't bother touching any of a th uh, lower A3. And I mean, if you have supers, that's, that's the time to do it because you won't be abandoning like this check. You don't have to worry about doing Skippy, um, cleans up this Metroid a little faster. And that can be good if you like are really lacking on hints and you don't know that, um, that this isn't required, but we already had a good amount of hints by that point, which is why I like routing it this way. Uh, like we skipped one, two checks in main caves here. But like, yeah, the main, th oh yeah, we didn't even touch Thoth at all. That's what, three checks. Uh, if I only recommend doing Thoth if you've got like speed booster and you can do the shine spark across or with space jump, you can jump across, but uh, it's, it's a big room and it's going to take you a lot of time. And the problem is if you find something, if you don't find anything, you're either going to have to take a uh, last save, which could could be I could be an issue if like one of these items is something you want to keep. Either that or you got to run all the way here to take this save and then just save warp out, which put might put you in a location you don't want to be. So there's quite a bit that we've skipped uh we didn't bother with the lower road here because i don't think anyone's ever gonna ever gonna touch this if there's ever items down here then <laughs> you might just lose the race <laughs> it might be a long one um but yeah that is the gist of it i want to make a few more of these to demonstrate uh what i guess some more of my thinking was this one was pretty front loaded which it, it, it just worked out um, but yeah, this should be like easily like an hour seed if you've got the skill, probably less. Um, yeah, that like, I was, I like this one too bad. We didn't play it. <laughs> All right. But with that, we will see you next mission. Cheers.